Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Inside 3D Tour. I'm Filipos from 3D Natives and today we're in Augsburg, Germany visiting Velo3D's brand new European Technology Center. For those of you who might not know, Velo3D was established back in 2014 in California and has grown to become one of the key players in metal additive manufacturing. As a matter of fact, they went public uh, back in 2021 and this is the very first time where they have a physical presence in Europe. So come join us today to see what they've got. Doing well on yourself. Very good. Well, thank you very much for having us. Of course. So, what have you created over here? So, this is our technology center in Europe, and this is the center of all our activities in Europe, where we are going to train our team, train customers, a demo center for customers. And am I right to understand that this is the first time that you guys are coming over to Europe? So, we have built a, a team in Europe in the last year, so we have almost 15 people now here, and uh, until now, most of our business has been in the United States. Uh, starting now, uh, uh, this is going to be uh, our fastest expansion. Exciting stuff. Shall we have a look? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Let's, Let's go and see. Well, that's an impressive facility you've got over here, Benny. I'm sure some people of our audience might not be familiar with the Velo3D brand. Uh, what's the story behind it? How did things start? So, Velo3D is trying to make additive manufacturing the way people actually imagine that it is. A tool where people can manufacture the things that they really want to do. Not a tool that prescribes to people how they have to design and make their products. And during the time I was an investor, I decided that I will never invest in 3D printing. <laughs> and it's actually a true story. And uh, the reason why I decided not to do that is because all the pitches I heard sounded the same. The technology can do whatever you want, here is a way to reduce cost. And uh, the people that I started to talk with, I found out, have uh, f uh, not been able to produce the parts that actually they wanted to make. They had to change their parts, they had to compromise their designs, and the whole process was very painful and very disappointing. So I decided we are going to build a company that uh, will allow people to make the parts that they really want without having to compromise that, and that's what Velo does. Now, obviously, we talk about successful products and success cases and so on, but how about the challenges? What were the things that perhaps you found more difficult to deal with? So the one thing that I had to face is that we actually have not, uh, didn't have an idea what we were actually doing. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm absolutely serious about this. So we tried to make this new product with new capability and we didn't know what's important. So we basically got into the market, got to learn, collaborated with customers while we were all the time with technical debt trying to solve the problems to allow the customers to actually make use of the beautiful technology that we created for them. So what does the future look like then, in terms of the brand Velo3D, metal additive manufacturing, where do you see yourselves in the future? The sense is always that the future is just beyond the horizon. So there is always a lot of challenges, there is always a lot of needs from the customers. Uh, it's uh, very satisfying to see um, the huge growth and the beautiful things customers are already doing with the systems. Well, Benny, thank you very much for your time. Always a pleasure to catch up with you. I know we've got a meeting planned with Dirk, so I guess I'll see you later on the grand opening. See you later. Sounds great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Dirk. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Pleasure to meet you as well. So, uh, what do we have over here? This is our uh, new uh, demo room, uh, which we uh, installed uh, just uh, a couple of days ago in our uh, technology center, uh, which we opened in Augsburg. Actually, today, we have our opening day today. So before we get started with the parts, a bit about yourself. Uh, so what do you do there, Katvalo? Um, so I'm uh, heading the European sales organization. Uh, I'm here to uh, help the team to grow and help Velo to really uh, establish a strong footprint and presence in the European market. Uh, so Dirk, tell us a bit more about the idea behind your European expansion. We know that uh, business is uh, conducted locally, so we uh, have already established or and, and, and really uh, building a team in Europe, especially in the main uh, uh, markets like uh, UK, Germany, France, Italy and Spain, where we have local teams uh, supporting customers uh, uh, at the local level uh, from a commercial but also from a technical side. 
So having established yourselves in the US, what kind of similarities or perhaps differences do you see between the US and Europe? The industries are uh, actually quite uh, uh, the same. We had great success in the US uh, in uh, markets like space, aerospace uh, or energy uh, sector. Maybe the uh, differences are in, in the sizes of the companies and some of the applications uh, which are more uh, prominent in Europe versus US, but the markets are pretty much the same. Well, sounds great. Let's have a look at the parts. Sure, why not? So, for example, uh, this is a, a shrouded impeller, uh, which is a very common application where uh, customers uh, usually struggle uh, to uh, build those low angle uh, type of uh, parts of the product without any support. And uh, our technology allows us uh, to, to build those uh, low angle parts uh, of this impeller without any internal support. Another uh, very good example of uh, how we can help customers uh, is this uh, micro turbine, uh, where it's uh, uh, printed obviously uh, as one part and is combining uh, 61 parts of the original design. So when the customer was producing that in uh, traditional uh, manufacturing technologies, they had to build 61 parts. So those 61 parts turned into one. one. Absolutely. Well, Derek, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. Absolutely. No worries. Thank you. Have a lovely one. Thanks. Thank you. And the ribbon has officially been cut, which means that our visit to Velo3D's brand new center in Augsburg, Germany comes to its end. We hope that you joined the behind the scenes and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next Inside3D tour.